San Francisco is a fascinating city to cover, but devastating also. It's really become a tale of two cities. Probably nowhere shows that better than Union Square with its super rich Louis Vuitton stores and Tiffany's right next door to the Tenderloin where you can see bodies on the streets. Heather is willing to take chances and willing to be out there and not gonna back down. The beauty of that is that people are talking about Heather. They're talking about her reporting. She is the must read columnist in the city. But she actually does a story that encompasses compassion. The story that Heather Knight did with Lori and her daughter was a very heartbreaking story. I got an email from a woman named Lori Steves who lived just outside Seattle. I'm trying to get my addict daughter off the streets of the Tenderloin. Her younger brother died of a drug overdose four months ago, and she knew that her daughter, Jessica, was also addicted to drugs and was homeless and living in San Francisco. I randomly run into her on the street when I find her. It's, it's because I go out and I drive around and I look for her. Nothing's reaching her. And I'm not a social worker or a treatment expert by any means, but I figured the best way I could help her and people in general understand this crisis was to tell her story. The result of all of Heather's reporting on this was that the mayor decides that she's going to do a cleanup of the Tenderloin. We are in a crisis and we need to respond accordingly. Her mission for her journalism is to improve the conditions in what we're living. People listen to Heather Knight. City Hall listens to Heather Knight. <laughs> I know that city officials don't like getting my calls. I learned from a reader recently that my name is sometimes used as a verb. If you can't get something done at City Hall, you can Heather Knight it, and that means that you CC me, <laughs> and they hope that that will get more attention. Nobody can question whether or not she knows what she's talking about. Sometimes people think that she is the voice of the Chronicle. Don't worry about the politicians or the bureaucrats. They're not your audience. You're writing for the regular people of San Francisco. And if you're shining a light on what's not working from City Hall in their lives, then you're doing a good job.